Hey everybody, this is Brandon from betteratEverything.info, and this is part 6 of my AutoCAD basics series. In this video we'll be covering creating and using layers to organize your drawing. Uh, let's get started. So as you can see by my drawing right here, I've got four different items. I've got a polyline over here, I've got a regular line, a circle, and a rectangle. Uh, as you begin making drawings and adding more and more elements, you're going to want to keep them organized and separate on layers. Layers allow you to uh, change colors of all of the items on one la layer, change line weights, uh, line types. It also allows you to turn uh, groups of items on and off. Uh, really just keeps everything organized and simple. Um, Without using layers, the drawings will get messy and confusing. You can't turn things on or off. If you're doing house plans, for instance, you'll want to be able to turn off electrical layout and uh, uh, annotation of various types or uh, water or HVAC systems, whatever. Uh, so the layer button is, or the layer manager button is up here on the left, layer properties. It brings up the layer manager. That's right here. Uh, in here, you can create a new layer right here. You can create a new layer that's frozen in all viewports. You can delete a layer. And you can make a, a layer your current layer. And I'll show you how to do these. Uh, we're going to start with creating a new layer. So click the button here. A new layer shows up in your manager. You can give it a title. I'm going to call this one Rectangle. When you're using these, you're going to want to name them uh, based on what you're using the layer for. Um, things like first floor wall annotation. That would be all the text that has to do with the walls on your first floor. Or first floor electrical plan. That'll be all of your, lay uh, all of your electrical uh, layout design or whatever. You can you can name it whatever you'd like. Um, I recommend something that's descriptive um, and makes sense. Uh, don't just name them one, two, three, or red, blue, green, because you don't really know what's on that layer. Um, next, you can choose, if you look at the options here, you can turn your layer on or off. That would be off, and the light bulb's off. On, light bulb's on. That means it's visible in the drawing. You can freeze it so that it can't be modified. Uh, you can lock it so you can't select anything on that layer. And you can change the color of everything on that layer. If, if uh, let's say I choose red, anything that was on that layer would have just gone red. And I'll show you that right here. So here's our rectangle on the right. I'm going to select our rectangle. I'm going to go to the layer drop down, which is right here. I'm going to put it by clicking on the rectangle layer. I'm going to put it on that layer. As you can see, it just turned red, and it's now on the rectangle layer. I'm going to go back to our uh, layer manager here, and I'm going to create another new layer. This one's going to be called Polyline. Hit enter. Now you've made a new layer. I'm going to make this layer green. And I'm going to put our polyline on the green layer. Now, no, you don't need to select it. Up. Bring up the layer manager. And for line type, we're going to choose a dashed line. And to bring up more line types, you simply click the load button, and it'll go to your AutoCAD.line uh, file which should be installed with your install of AutoCAD. I'm just going to choose dash, hit OK. Um, I've already done this, so reload it. And now it's in your line type menu. You can select it. And as you can see, this is now a dashed line. There's a dash right here. Uh, the scale is off, which you can change. Um, and I'll show you how to do that later. Uh, to do it real quick here is click on your line, right click, bring up properties that's over here and you can change your line type scale so if we change it to 
zero point one and hit enter. There it changes the scale of the dashes. You can see there's a lot of them now. So I'm gonna close the properties box. And I'm gonna make this circle and this line on a third layer. I'm gonna say circle and line. I'm gonna make this one blue. Okay. So we're gonna select them, add them to the circle and line, and now they're blue. So we go back here. I don't want them to be dashed, I want them to be continuous but I want their line weight to be really big so I'm going to use 0.8 millimeters. Now if we close this down here you can turn on whether or not line weights are shown right there see if you turn it on you can see my lines go fat. Typically I leave them off because if you have too many thick lines it starts to overlap on other ones and it just kind of looks messy like a crayon drew it. So I leave it off but for uh, the time being we'll leave it on. And there you go, that's the basics of layers. Uh, we're gonna bring up the manager here and I'll show you a few other things you can do. Uh, you can freeze the rectangle. See it disappears right there. And you can also lock a layer. So I just locked the rectangle. You can see a locked uh, icon shows up when I try to select it. I can't really do anything to it because it's locked. You can see locked. Undo, and you can turn them on and off. You can select whether or not they'll print. Uh, if you turn that off, when you print the drawing, whether or not you can see it, it won't show up on the print. And you can also turn them on or off for various viewports, and you can do that while you're in a viewport. Um, that's about it for Layer Manager. Uh, one last thing is I'll show you how to, how to delete a layer. You can select it, select Rectangle, Hit the X. Oh, sorry. I should have realized that. Delete me. This layer has nothing on it, so I can delete it. There you go. Uh, another option is to make current. So let's make our polyline layer current by selecting the check mark, by exiting the menu here. Now if we make a new polyline, so I'm going to type in PL, enter, I'm going to select here, 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 I'm going to just go around everything, there you go, hit C for close and hit enter, there we have a new polyline, and it is on the polyline layer, and the polyline color, and the line type, all done by layers, and if you'd like to just turn that off, just bring down the drop down, Turn that layer off, say yes, and they disappeared. They're not deleted, they haven't gone away, they're still there. When you want to see them again, you simply turn them back on. And there you go. That's a quick breakdown of layers. Thanks for listening. Bye.